Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are calling an emergency press conference video right now because EA Sports have absolutely made the biggest mistake they have ever made on the market in FIFA 23 Ultimate Team. It might be the biggest mistake ever. This is a crazy day for FIFA. You guys have maybe heard about this and you maybe have seen all the hype about Foot Heroes and what's going on with these cards. EA put a pack in the store. It's no longer there. They took it away. I was not able to open it uh, before it was expired. But they put a pack in the store for a 25,000 coin uh, cost. You would get a tradable Foot Hero. 1,000% a mistake. And the market has crashed everywhere. But specifically Foot Heroes with all that insane supply as people were running to the store and opening that pack. Prices on Foot Heroes have absolutely died. So what I want to do today is kind of just, again, look at this situation and talk about how so many people lost millions today on the market because of this EA mistake. Again, this is totally on EA Sports. This was not supposed to happen. Again, there, there is literally no way that this was supposed to happen. I do think we are going to expect a very interesting response from them. They have not tweeted out yet as I'm recording this video. But since this is like literally the biggest mistake EA has made ever on the market, uh, I think of one other mistake that's on this scale. But specifically this mistake being this early in the game, is just absolutely ridiculous. So we're going to break it down today, talk through this a little bit more, and look at the market because player prices on all of these heroes are down so much. And I feel so bad for people that have these cards in their team that were using them in Weekend League, uh, and now they're on the market for thousands of coins less, hundreds of thousands of coins less in some cases because of that supply today. So let's get into it and take a look at what happened since the packs are no longer there in the store i'm going to take a look at this tweet from unique riggers on twitter he makes a really good point here that we're going to talk about too so just to debrief the situation just a little bit this is what the store looked like at 6 p.m content there was a foot heroes pack that was 25,000 coins it had the untradeable little logo on it and it was actually tradable now that's not even the biggest issue here. The biggest issue is this pack was not supposed to be in the store. We talked about it on last night's video about that pack code was added. A foot hero pack was added to the code. And this is 1000% a mistake by EA Sports because here's, here's my first, uh, I guess, argument to why people might be saying this is not a mistake. EA meant to do this today. They meant to crash the market. I 1000% disagree because this is unlike something that EA ever does and they removed the pack from the store. I was not able to open this pack. Uh, I think it was even like 30 minutes after the content drop today on Saturday, the pack was gone. Like they, they pulled it out of the store pretty quickly. They realized the gravity of the mistake um, or just like how big of the mistake they made. Uh, and there was like also an 82 plus player pack that was in the store as well. So it was just absolute market chaos for like the first, I don't even know, like hour or so after this pack dropped in the store. But of course, if you have 25,000 coins, when everybody saw this pack, they were like, absolutely, I'm going to go open this pack. The cheapest foot hero on the market I believe is Ocampos, who is like 18K. He was like 20,000 coins before the madness. There's only like two heroes. Uh, Al Jaber is 25,000 coins. I think those are the two heroes that are like, or, and Rickon is 25K. You literally like can't lose money on this pack. And there were people that were getting Ginola. There were people that were getting, uh, you know, Yaya Toure, Voler, Marquisio, Lucio, these, these hero cards that are really expensive on the market and so what happened was everybody was going to the store opening these packs because they were tradable trying to take advantage of what we knew right away was a mistake from ea sports right they were opening these packs and the market got absolutely flooded with supply i mean I remember looking and trading with some of these hero cards even yesterday on Friday, uh, specifically, um, you know, JJ Okocha's card. I traded with Lucio as well. These guys had no more than like three pages of supply on the market at any time. And now I look at all these Okochas on the market, like look at this, man. And this is, this is a lot less supply than there would have been right away after all of those packs were open and after all of that supply would have hit the market. Like this guy Valer was extinct at 900,000 coins just a couple of days ago. And now usually he had like one or two pages in the market and now he has six, seven and eight. And I'm sure there was way more pages of supply um, earlier when all this madness started happening. And yeah, like I said, this guy is 670K. He's risen back up a little bit. But again, with all that supply that's hit in the market, it's it's going to change these base hero cards prices literally for the rest of the year. It's going to change 
these cards for the rest of the game and especially you know right now as these are the best version of these heroes that are in packs and a lot of these guys are super meta and super usable and so many people in fifa can't even afford these right now um it's it changes these guys prices for the whole entire rest of the game so that's kind of the situation that we have at hand and right now we are awaiting any type of tweet any type of information from ea sports and whatever they tweet and whatever they decide they're gonna get roasted man i, I mean this again just to talk through the gravity and of this mistake like it is the second third week that we have been on this game and ea have put a pack in the store in a market that has already started to go down right i mean you take a look at some of these gold cards that we looked at in last night's video there was a little bit of a rise into this morning on on saturday right we went low friday night up a little bit ronaldo was 450 to 470 and then like the whole entire market died for like the first hour after content came out ronaldo was down low 400s he's now starting to, to rebound back up uh, because you know a lot of people made coins today off of this huge hero madness, but I think a lot of people lost coins as well. Uh, but like this is the this is the craziest market mistake that EA has ever made. Seriously, the only other mistake in my opinion that that parallels to this is the foot hero or a foot fantasy Ericsson situation from last year. And that was only one card that was affected on the market. I still think this is EA's craziest mistake ever. Might be a little biased because I love Ericsson. But, you know, this hero mistake today is 1,000% the, the most ridiculous uh, and widespread market error and a pack store error that I think I've ever seen. Like, just, again, the gravity of the situation is ridiculous. And, again, you take a look at the hero prices, they, they all absolutely died. The graphs are not going to show you and do justice to the prices that you saw on Twitter. Like, uh, you know, Lucio was 855. He was he was even low before content, 782. Footbin shows him at 580K. I know for a fact because I saw people buying this Lucio card for 300,000 coins, and now he's kind of rebounded back to about 615K. This is a tweet from Jake for trading on Twitter. He bought a bunch of Rudy Volaires, who we just looked at, was selling at 670,000 coins. He bought them for 255. Like the, the people that were on the market during this time frame, this guy made like 5 million coins, man. If you if you were on the market around the content drop, which I'm so disappointed you know just from a coin making aspect that i was not able to do that uh but it is what it is um if you were on and you timed the market today you made millions of coins on this crazy ea mistake but again that's one side of the coin the other side of the coin is people that lost millions of coins today because think about yes some of these heroes i mean most of these heroes are pretty rare they're pretty expensive and a lot of people can barely afford them right so you know people had them in their teams for their weekend leagues and stuff like that as of course the first weekend league of the year is going on and a lot of people lost millions today as well and yes some of these hero cards are starting to rebound back and i think they'll start to continue to get more rare and start to creep back up to their old prices but I don't think they're going to get there. I really don't think that any of these hero cards are going to rebound to what their prices were um, pre this crash. Uh, maybe, just maybe a couple of the super duper rare cards. Or if there's like a big SBC that comes out that a hero card is like a perfect link to or, you know, helps out for chemistry. Um, kind of like how the dirt quite went up a lot for the Gakpo SBC, that sort of situation. Like, look at Ginola. Even on the top tier, the most expensive um, hero in this game, Ginola was 2.5 mil, I believe, is what he was before this whole craziness. Think about if you were a pro player with Ginola in your team. He was 2.3 mil this morning. Dropped all the way down, and I'm pretty sure I, I saw people sniping this Ginola at literally 1 million coins flat. So people were maybe panic selling their hero cards after they saw this pack in the store. If they had a hero card in their team, they might have panic sold and actually lost the coins. Or even now, if they didn't sell and it's still on their team, they went from paying, you know, maybe 2, 3, 2, 2 for a card like this. Now their card's only worth 1.8 million coins, and they've lost a lot of coins whether they've sold yet or whether they have not. And I think that portion of people on the game, a lot of the casuals and uh, those type of people that were not able to profit off of the market craziness today. Yes, there was a ton of people that made a lot of coins today, but I also think there was more people that had heroes in their teams that saw prices absolutely die and either sold in the panic or they're still now owning the card 
that is down so much in price. Uh, this, again, this just mistake is absolutely crazy. So if you have traded with any of these cards today with, with the fluctuations, GG's, because you've timed the market really well, because whenever really crazy supply comes in on a rare card that is really, really, really popular, you do get some crazy fluctuations. But this was something uh, that I, you know, we've never really seen something like this before. So thinking of it this way, how is EA going to fix this? That's another question that I have. I think a lot of people have as well. What in the world is EA going to do to try to fix this situation? Well, again, like we looked in that screenshot, the, the pack that was shown in the store had a little untradeable um, like, like mark on, on the outside of the pack in the top right. I'll just show the tweet again. Um, this screenshot is so useful because I, you know, I wasn't actually able to see the pack in the store. I was not at the time, right? That this little thing right here, like that is an untradeable sign on the pack. None of these other packs have it. And we've seen it on other packs in the store before that means untradeable. Um, and so EA has advertised this pack as untradeable, but it was actually tradable. So right now we have no tweet from EA FIFA direct. The only tweet that we have from them is, uh, this one right here about them, you know, releasing the gold cards, uh, in the ones to watch pre-order pack. they said that it's been fixed, blah, blah, blah. We're still expecting compensation for like the Holland transfer SBC and that newcomers challenge from what was that a week ago, almost now, or like five, six days ago. So we're still awaiting compensation on that. We have compensation for this and we are awaiting like this tweet. I mean, I said it earlier, but whenever EA tweets about an issue, uh, and when they decide to break their silence about this whole hero pack thing, um, they're going to get roasted. And look at these people in the comments, bro. You know, do people who missed out on the hero pack just get nothing? Unfortunately, that's a very, you know, common question for right now. For a lot of people like myself, I missed out on the hero pack. Since I missed out, I'm probably not going to get anything in return or in compensation for this. And as we've seen so many, many times in this game, it feels unfair. But if there's ever an error that we can spot... Uh, and take advantage of it, do the SPC, open the pack, because nine times out of 10, there's compensation. And the people that are, you know, that take advantage of it in, in the time that they're able to before that thing gets pulled off of the game, whatever it is, like today with the hero pack, you know, it seems crazy to think that everybody who uh, got a tradable hero pack for 25,000 coins might actually get an untradable one back because the pack that they opened was technically not the one that EA advertised. And when EA advertise, advertises incorrect packs, they often compensate with correct ones. Isn't that crazy to think? So even that's that's another aspect of the hero market thinking through right now where I would stay away from unless you're just trying to trade and quick flip with a lot of these hero cards. Like I'm saying again, if EA is also going to give back everybody who opened one of those in the store uh, a another pack, which again, it does sound a bit crazy and maybe EA don't go out and do that. But I think that potential is there for them to give out an untradeable uh, hero pack to everybody who opened one even though it was their mistake first to put it in the store. I mean, I, I could see so many different things happening here and it's it's going to be really, really tough to figure out what EA is going to do here. Um, yeah, man, I, it's just, it's the craziest thing that I've ever seen happen on the market this early in the game. So yeah, if they do release an untradeable compensation pack, which would seem crazy, it's probably not going to be for a couple of days from now anyway. They're so behind on all their compensation. It's been one of the most mistake-filled starts to a FIFA I think I've ever seen. Uh, I would not try to mess around with hero prices too much either because whenever that compensation hits, you're going to see prices drop even more. Now, one thing I want to take a look at too is uh, the rest of the market because we looked at that Cristiano Ronaldo, right? But we also have, you know, a road to the knockouts team that is in packs right now. And I do believe that a lot of these players dropped in price as well. Uh, a bombing, I literally sold a bombing for 670,000 coins earlier on Saturday morning. Right now, a bombing is 554. Looks like he's getting a bit rare, maybe bouncing up right now. Um, Foden's 439. How low did a bombing go in the madness earlier today? Because I, I absolutely know there was some panic here, right? A bombing, I sold him like right here overnight, 670. He went down to 500K and is now kind of rebounding back. Like the whole market absolutely got hit with this craziness, right? Because there was probably a lot of people on the market as well that were panic selling cards to go out and try to buy heroes when they were super low. Um, and then at the same time, people seeing all the hero prices crashing. So they were maybe offloading their teams. Just one 
it was probably just one whole huge hour of panic. Again, I was not on, so I didn't see it at all. But, you know, the price grabs kind of speak for themselves. Um, you know, if you were on the market and you bought in any of these flips, GG's. Again, this just reinforces the idea that we want to be quick flipping in this sort of market as unstable as it is even more unstable right now than it has ever been. You know, I even think about gold to Holland who is out of packs at 370,000 coins. He's maintained his price pretty well. He went down to 320 rebounded all the way back to 370. Holland's inform is not that expensive. 615 K. How low did inform Holland go? He was 540. Wow. Bro, I mean, these cards only being 300K apart to me, I think that we are getting towards that part of this next week where the Erling Holland gold card is absolutely going to drop off in price. I know the Erling Holland inform is going to be very desirable for a lot of people as well. Um, but, you know, that gold card, I think if you see like 380, 390 again, if that's a card you have in your team or if you bought it like low for, of course, Holland was less than like 200,000 coins for a while in the web app stage, um, or even if you bought it at 330 when the price range updated, I think I'd be thinking about taking the cash on this Holland card, especially on PC. I think he will end up dropping. But we'll talk more about that stuff, of course, in the normal upload uh, coming at the normal time tonight. Uh, but I wanted to get on in today's video and just talk through um, just everything that is that is that has happened and that has gone down. And even Brolin, wow, look at the rebound on this card, 223. So this is one card that actually has rebounded back pretty well. He was 280, 290, went down to 150, which probably means he was like, you know, 100,000 coins and then is now rebounded back up. You know, I'm not telling you if you bought one of these cards at a super duper low price and you have it in your team, I'm not telling you you have to sell right now. All I'm saying is be careful about EA FIFA Direct and whatever they decide to do in terms of compensation for this, because if they do give out a compensation pack, which I do think, I know it seems crazy, um, it, it, that is an option. I think you would see some of these hero cards go down further. And the market just right now in general, after a kind of a freak happening like we had today, there's just going to be a lot of people that probably don't want to be involved with too many cards. And you're, I think you're going to see a decent amount of uh, sell-off again, maybe tonight on Saturday or, um, you know, yeah, I don't even know, man. I think it's going to be, depending on what EA tweet out with this whole compensation situation, the market's just in, in shambles and, and everybody is like scared right now at the moment too. Um, that's that's going to be a situation that we might have to look back on uh, tonight, on tonight's video. Hopefully uh, they provide a little bit of a, a little bit of some news since then. Also, let me know down in the comments if you sniped any of these hero cards if you were on because people in my... Um, like, this is Eddie from the stream, right? Big boy Eddie, he got a Volaire for 270, right? He's up big time on him. Vlad getting a bunch of cards. I tweeted out, I was like, yo, guys, um, this is the craziest EA mistake ever. Show me those hero snipes. A lot of people I knew were on the market right away. Al Awarian for how much? Man, that's crazy. Or Nakata for 54K. Volaire for 592 and, and bought him for super cheap. I mean, it's crazy, man. Joe Cole for 98K. Akocha for how much? I can't even see that price. 300,000 coins there. Absolutely wild. Okocha for 200K. Oh my goodness, man. Yaya Torre for 725. So there was a lot of people that made millions today on the market. But I think, again, I would have to say that people that lost coins today, I think outweighs the people that made coins today. Um, just because there was had to be so many casuals with heroes in their teams. And maybe if they haven't even lost those coins yet and sold those cards... What an absolute ridiculous day on the FIFA market. Also, we had a Dan Juma SBC, which is, uh, I think, okay value. Uh, let's see the upvotes and downvotes on Flipin for this thing really fast. The Dan Juma SBC is a left mid with the striker position change. Uh, 57K. Wow, that's a really, really good card. 4-4. Four, four. So, W SBC content crazier market content from EA Sports. If you guys enjoyed the video today, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions or if you want to tell me about all the crazy snipes or if you missed out or whatever it may be. I missed out. It's a bummer, but it's okay. There'll be plenty of opportunities to make coins in the future. We're chilling. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I don't know if I mentioned that, but normal video coming tonight. I just had to hop on emergency press conference with TFA. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.